Morning. Let's talk about growing water chestnuts. All right, so about a month ago at the store, I saw some water chestnuts. I went to a specialty oriental type um, grocery store and they had a lot of cool different vegetables that we don't really see very often. And so I was kind of doing some research and trying to figure out which ones would probably grow in our climate. And I stumbled upon water chestnuts. And I've done a video on this before, but I haven't done an update. And I just walked past this spot right here where I, I honestly forgot that I'd planted them. And the reason I chose this spot is because it's, it gets pretty shaded and it's near a drip emitter. And so this area stays pretty damp. And I was like, hey, why not stick something that loves water in this last spot to dry out in my entire yard? So I stuck a few water chestnuts here, as you can see. And this is a type of rush, in case you're wondering why it looks like rush. So these water chestnuts, I'll post a, a photo of what they look like. But, um, they look similar to like a bulb, like a tulip bulb and they send up some grassy looking shoots and they'll, you know, one bulb will turn into, I don't know, like a dozen or more bulbs depending on how much sun and how well they do. So I put a bunch of these all over my yard. I kind of forgot all the spots I did them. I know I had one here, one there, as you can see, one there. Another one over here. There's my cassava coming out. Um, another one right here. I think there's three or four in there that haven't popped up yet. Oh, there's another one back here. Just kind of stuck them in different spots that I thought they might be successful. And then I put some in the spillway of my pond over here. So I program my pond to um, overflow by like a gallon or so every day. And so that extra water kind of funnels through this area. So it looks like water spinach is choosing to be the most successful. I practice a form of gardening that I call chaos gardening, where I just basically just put stuff everywhere and then it's an experiment to see what's the most successful in different microclimates in my yard and so if something's really successful then it takes over that area if it's not very successful it gets out competed and doesn't really last so if you have spots in your yard that aren't very well draining and you're concerned about plants dying and soil that doesn't drain very well um, yeah, water chestnuts do really well So I know that they're a little bit invasive, so you don't want to do this somewhere where you're not enclosed. And if there's a spot in your yard, you don't want to get overrun. Maybe put these in pots. Some people like to do them in containers. I don't really mind because of my method of gardening. If it takes over, then it was meant to be. So easy way to get water chestnuts in the Arizona desert. And probably anywhere. I mean, anywhere that stays wet, you could probably grow these things. And they don't mind if the soil stays a little boggy in some spots. And it's weird because my yard is clay, so it's the soil is waterproof, so I don't really have to water that much. Some people are like, oh, you're in the desert, you must use a ton of water, and honestly, I don't really use that much water. I mean, definitely not more, more water than I used in California, because California had very sandy soil, but here it's clay, so once I get a gallon or so in a certain area, it stays pretty wet for, you know, like half the day, so you actually use less water if you have soil like mine that's very waterproof and clayish. And so you really have to make sure you're not overwatering. At least that's my experience, especially now that I have very strongly inoculated mycorrhizal fungi in my soil. So it's all the plants pretty much share water with each other. Um, I have other videos that talk about that if you're curious, but definitely a good thing to grow. If you're looking for something, you know, a nice veggie to grow is water chestnuts. Have you ever tried them before? The little white um, oval looking things that they put in your salads that, you know, if you get a fancy salad, so, awesome thing to grow. All right, thanks. Hope this helps you.